welcome back everyone to another styling video. So I put up a question box on my Instagram page which asked what are you having a trouble with most styling at the moment? So there are there are certain styles that come in to fashion that I myself find that I'm addicted to them, I love when other people style them, and then I haven't a clue how to style them myself. Um, so I thought that I would find out what you guys find difficult to style and see if I can help you. So basically there are five pieces of clothing that um, came up the most out of all of your answers, and I am gonna style them a few different ways for you guys today so that you can maybe be inspired and if there is that kind of trend item that you wanna invest in, but you hadn't any idea how to start it before, maybe this will encourage you to buy it and also will encourage you to love it and to get as much wear out of it as possible because obviously that is the goal, that is um, hopefully where we end up once we get to know our own style and once we get to trust ourselves and have fun with our style that we get to um, expand our wardrobe but also keep it to the pieces that you love and get most wear out of all of the pieces in your wardrobe because what we want to avoid is just a wardrobe full of stuff that we have no idea to style how to style and um that kind of bad feeling every time you go to get dressed which is probably the worst thing and the worst way to start your day and um, how good a feeling is it to start your day by putting on an outfit that you love and getting excited to style the pieces in your closet so Let's get started. So I have your answers here. First of all was a midi skirt. Second, summer dresses. So being able to style your summer dresses in autumn or winter. Uh, chunky loafers with socks, um, which is a personal favorite of mine. Knee high boots and the puffer gilet. So the puffer gilet is one that I recently actually invested in, or not invested in, it was $24.99 in H&M currently sold out. I had to get the medium in uh, the shop just to be able to get it. Um, but I'll include um, links to all of the items and all of um, the pieces that I'm styling and try to get as many kind of affordable variations of anything that I style today. So let's start with the midi skirt. So I've styled the midi skirt two ways for you guys. One is kind of just if you're nipping into the town to go shopping, if you're going to collect your kids from school and you have a midi skirt that you haven't worn in a while and you want to style it. So this one here is just very plain with a, literally something that most people have in their closet, a denim jacket and some sneakers and a tote bag. Um, it doesn't have to be over complicated. You can keep it super simple. Um, this I like because it it kind of shows off the midi skirt. It's a really simple outfit, but the midi skirt really stands out because it is styled with two really staple or basic pieces. So this one I really like just to keep it simple. And second, I have styled it in maybe more of a going out outfit. And also the midi skirt in this outfit with the blazer and the tank and the boots is a little bit more in the background of the outfit. It kind of all goes together to complete that nice, um, seamless look and it's a little bit more if you're going out for dinner or a date night or to see the girls for drinks and um, this is a little bit more fancy maybe even to work or to a meeting and um, I really like this midi skirt look so second you asked to style a summer dress in autumn. So this is one of my favorite things to do is to kind of play with my closet where I am not only combining, um, I've talked about this recently in another video, how to love your closet and kind of really get a, a lot of wear out of all of the pieces in your closet, is to mix and match. So to, ma to mix up maybe a going out, out uh, piece of clothing, like a pair of heels, with maybe a more casual denim, a jacket or a, de a casual piece of clothing. So likewise, I love to mix um, winter pieces with summer pieces. So to have fun with your closet and, and forget about the rules. Um, so I love this one because I think it's a great way to 
continue to use your pieces of clothing, especially when you maybe spend a little bit more on a summer dress and you hate to put it away for the rest of the, for well, especially when you live in Ireland and it's putting it away basically for the entire year because you never get good weather. So to be able to layer up a summer dress is a really um, good way to utilize um, your closet. So first here is a really summery, oversized white dress. Um, hopefully you have something similar, but I have styled a, a mini um, dress as well, which you'll see later, which is kind of, I've styled it in a wintry way. Here you'll see that I'm styling it with a beanie hat, um, a long coat, and a pair of winter boots. So even if you had to layer this up even more, you could even wear like a t-shirt underneath, you could wear leggings underneath, um, you could really go all out here. And if your dress was a little bit shorter, I also love the look of wearing kind of leggings over that dress, or under that dress, sorry, and maybe even a pair of sneakers. So there's so many different ways you can layer up your summer dress, but I think this look, look super wintry but on its own this dress is like a pure summer dress another way to wear it I have put it with a polo neck so here I I've style it really simply and um, I just kind of wanted to show that you can style Uggs and make them look really good I am addicted to my Uggs at the moment I wear them in the house I wear them to the shop I wear them with um, styling outfits to to go out into the city center or whatever um, I think this look is really cute. It's really simple. Again, trying to keep things simple. You don't have to overcomplicate things. Just adding that extra layer of a polo neck and a pair of Uggs. And if you wanted, you could add on another layer, a denim jacket or even a camo jacket or something like that. Um, but I think this, again, is a nice way to style your summer dress. Just so you don't think I've left you short, I have also styled this black Sir the Label dress, which is one of my favorite dresses. It is such a staple to have one of these kind of cute black, uh, little black dresses in your closet. And this one is a linen dress, which is perfect on its own in summer. I have styled it. I'll show you maybe, I think I have photos of it. And um, this summer, I bought it like a year ago, but I've styled it loads. I've worn it so much um, in the last two summers um but here i've styled it with a jacket with stirrup leggings brogues and a hat and i think it looks really wintry yet not over the top and again really simple just add those leggings add a, an extra jacket if you wanted add in like a polo neck a neck a black polo neck underneath or even a colorful polo neck underneath to add a little bit of color and um, this is just a nice way to see that you can style even that short little summer dress into a really wintry cozy look Okay, the last three looks are like my favorite pieces to style. So I was going to leave the best to last, but I actually don't know which one is like my favorite one to style for you guys. So I'm gonna go with the loafer and the sock. It's one of my favorite um, shoe, shoe kind of combinations to style. So here I'm gonna show you this super uh, gossip girl outfit. This for me is like just so, timeless so effortless super cute will look good on every and anyone everyone any body shape any i just think it is super cute so here the socks the loafer mini mini skirt oversized blazer oversized blazer and a white t-shirt and it's usually everyone has these things in their closet and um, especially the blazer and the white t-shirt so if you wanted to change it up you could put a midi skirt with this look as well if you're not comfortable wearing the mini skirt. Um, so maybe even that longer look if you were not comfortable completely wearing that mini skirt. P.S. These Burberry brogues. I invested in them like a year and a half ago and I don't wear them enough but they are like how fabulous are they they just look so fucking good um but i will link similar ones in the description box below because anything chunky if it's flat for me it has to be chunky and i don't wear a lot of heels so i have a lot of chunky shoes even my runners are chunky um Next, I have styled the brogue and the sock with just a shirt and this little um, button-up vest. And um, this is, again, just maybe if you're going out at nighttime and you wanted a kind of smart look with flat shoes, I think this is really cute. And you could kind of wear a dress up a bag or even a headband maybe some nice earrings or something to kind of make it a little bit fancier but this I really like and then I have 
also styled it with what I'm wearing here, the um, knit vest, uh, oversized shirt, the bros with the socks, and then this kind of fisherman raincoat that I have but any jacket would really look good over this look an oversight blazer even a puffer jacket um a long coat anything really would look good over this um for me I think the vest and the shirt is one of my favorite um go-to kind of finish looks that looks really good and seamless but is again really simple Okay, my last two favorite things that you asked me to style, um, they are definitely my two favorite kind of pieces to style this winter are the puffer gilet and the knee-high boots. So let's start with the puffer gilet. Um, so first up, I have styled it here with a polo neck with chunky boots and a beanie hat. Super simple, again, uh, if you wanted to add in leggings, you could. I like getting my legs out in winter, why not? Um, but these new Zara boots, which I have a link below, this is just, just looks so complete and it's so simple. It's literally just the puffer jack, puffer gilet with a polo neck underneath and then just add a few accessories and it's just, this for me I love this look so much and then next up I have again the puffer gilet I've added in a belt just to cinch it and make it a little bit more feminine uh, a little less oversized great way to make your oversized pieces look completely different especially with oversized blazers oversized shirts is just to add a belt white t-shirt leg these stirrup leggings again which are again one of my favorite things i have purchased this winter to style winter looks and then my louis vuitton loafers which again i will link uh more affordable loafers but these for me whoo, hot 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 um this again a completely stylish way of wearing your puffer gilet and then last but not least we are on to the knee-high boot so the knee-high boot again you can add in anything that i don't wear leggings with with in my outfits please do feel free just to add in a pair of leggings if you need that extra layer or if you don't like getting your legs out here I have styled it with an oversized knit jumper. You can over you can style it with an oversized cardigan even, um, but or even an oversized crew neck. Doesn't matter. But I have done this old, very old something navy uh, knit jumper t-shirt beanie. I love this look. Second up, very simple with literally just a trench and a white t-shirt. Again. Why, why over complicated? Just use the things that you have in your closet, those staple and basic pieces that you can combine to make this complete look. Again, you can add um, jeans or leggings to this outfit. And last but not least, I've kind of gone a little bit out of the box here, but I do want to just to show that you can play with your, uh, again, like I said, be playful with your closet. I have styled it with a cropped blazer, white t-shirt, and my Ala Yoga leggings, which I would usually only wear for yoga, but why not wear them um, with your knee-high boots? Um, and again, I have changed it up as well. If you're not comfortable wearing um, the cropped blazer and getting your butt out, you can wear that oversized blazer as well. So. I hope this helped you in just showing that there, are, there is just so much vers versatility available to you if you just open up to being slightly maybe more playful, more explorative with your closet. Um, I hope that that helped you get inspired to style those kind of on-trend pieces. And as well, a lot, most of those pieces that I have styled there are old pieces in my closet. And that is just what I really want to kind of knuckle down on or double down on is to show you that you don't have to constantly be buying new things in your closet to be on trend or to look stylish. Try to really get to know the pieces that you already have so that you can combine them to make these really fun, unique and more importantly unique to you looks so i hope that was fun for you and i hope that you enjoyed watching this youtube as always i'll be bringing another video next monday please do feel free to comment below with any suggestions or requests for styling videos or lifestyle videos whatever it is and if you liked the video please do press like and subscribe and even better maybe share this channel with a friend and spread the word on my videos Thanks so much for watching and see you next week.